guys, today we're going to be making some beeswax melts for our wax warmers and we're also going to be making some tea lights made out of beeswax as well, so stay tuned. Okay, now that we've measured out our ingredients, we're going to pour a little bit of water into a saucepan. And we're going to heat this water up. Now that my water is heating up, I'm going to take my third cup of coconut oil. I'm going to take my cup of beeswax and put that in there as well. Now that I've got this in my mug, I'm going to take it and put it in my pot of water that's heating up. Okay, so now that my wax is all melted, I'm going to uh, add 0.7 ounces of fragrance oil once the temperature of this cools down to about 140, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now I'm going to fill my molds. Okay, so I made a big sloppy mess with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to take it by the spoonful. I'm going to put it in here. I don't have a proper thing to pour it in with, so spoon it is. Now I'm going to unmold my wax melts that they've been sitting in their hard. Uh, I'll take them out and show you what they look like. And more importantly, I'll show you how they work. Now what I normally do with all these little pieces that are left over is I'll put them in on top of the, the wax warmer itself and they'll, they'll incorporate into the other ones that are on there, so no big deal. Oh, the little pumpkin head, the pumpkin uh, stem fell off, but that's okay. I always have that problem with this mold. The pumpkin stem always falls off whenever I make anything. Which kind of not so good. But oh well. Anyways, that's what they look like. 
So we're going to try these out and we'll be right back. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, mug I just used for my wax melts and I'm just going to dump that this in there and then we're going to put it on the stove in our heated water. And we're going to let this sit and melt. Now that I have my pine resin all melted and my beeswax melted, I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of my fragrance oil. Okay, so now that I've got my uh, wax all melted and my, my scent added, I'm going to pour it into my molds here, my tea light molds. Okay, so this is what my tea lights look like now that they have cooled and we're going to give this a demonstration. Okay, so I have this little um, wax warmer that I use and it's, uh, <laughs> it's a Halloween one, but uh, anyways, I'm going to put my little tea light in here in the bottom. Then I'm going to take one of the wax melts that we made. Take this one, put it on top, and I put the other stuff that we had in there that were like the remnants of ones that spilled over because I'm clumsy and with my pouring. We're gonna put those in there, and then we're gonna light the tea light. So I'm going to let this burn and I'll show you guys how the mac wax, oh, when the wax starts melting on top. Okay, so as you can see, the wax is melting. You can see it liquefying there. 